Peace, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Undisputed Spit. I'm your host, Romello Scuds, and we have an action packed show today. Uh, first, we got my man, Antoine Williams, aka Chewy. Uh, we got our regular co host, uh, K Will, and Watt Dollar, and my homeboy, Watt Stringer from Goats and Rings. Check it out. How are y'all guys doing this today? How y'all doing this weekend? Good, bro. Good. 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 How's that happening? Hey, man. Dollar, how's your weekend? Good, good. Can't complain. Uh, it was pretty warm this week where I was at. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Spicy. I know. I, I don't talk to you about no being spicy. I know. Right. But yeah, uh, right now, pretty hot. Right now, where I'm at, so um, oh, it's, awesome. it's pretty toasty out here today. Yeah, um, we, had a, uh, we had a, a heat advisory too, so all this week. So, oh, uh, yeah, uh, you used to that now, though. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. y'all warms don't mean nothing to me. So, uh, man, yeah. hold up, listen, we got 95 coming Wednesday. And they're gonna know that. Whoa, Whoa. Gonna know different kind of heat. You're right, yep. you're right, you're right. First, first and foremost, when I woke up this morning, it was 95 here, so that's not, you know what I'm saying. We ain't talking about y'all though. You know, you know we ain't used to that here. You know we ain't used to that here, man. <laughs> okay, okay, fellas, fellas. We got some boxing to discuss, man. You know, that's what we do. That's why we here. First, before I start on the boxing matches that happened Saturday, I want to talk about the um the International Hall of Fame. Um, they combined in three classes, uh, the 20 class, the 21 class, and the 22 class. And we got some powerful legends on those lists, like the 20 list, the 21 list, 22 list. Um, I'm going to make this short. So I'm going to start with you, what, Doc? What do you think about the, the list that combined? Um, how you feel about each, not each fighter, but how you feel about all the inductees that's in the uh, Hall of Fame? Um, I thought it was definitely solid choices for sure. You know, um, I don't think you can dispute any of the people that was inducted for sure. Uh, definitely got solid numbers and, you know, solid careers. Um, um, I thought that it was, I thought it was a good class. I mean, it, it might be, could go down as one of the best class of all time, technically. You know what I mean? From the people who was in there, I mean, Roy Jones might be the best light heavyweight of all time. Uh, uh, Floyd probably is the best, you know, what, welterweight at all time or lightweight. I mean, you know, wherever you want to put him at, you know, which you, Moneyweight, Mayweather or uh, Pretty Boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kodo, solid fighter for sure. Um, yeah, I think this this might be the best class I've seen in my mm -hmm. years of watching boxing, oh, like in one year, you know, in terms of Hall of Fame. Yeah, That's my I thoughts on it. Yeah. 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 Um, K Will, what you got? Yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree with Dollar. Like, um, this class is is probably, if nothing else, it's the most official class. Like, I don't have no disputes. Like, every year when you see the Hall of Fame or list throughout the different sports, you always, it's always one or two people is kind of like, eh, I, I get it, but not really. With this list and the, with boxing right now, um, I think that they got it right. You know what I mean? Like, it's really not too much to say to criticize. Like, you can be happy about your favorite fighter making the list or maybe say somebody you thought could have got on the list before another person. But I cannot discredit the list at all. Like, the list is, like, 100% solid to me. Antoine Williams, Chewy, what you got? I agree with what, what y'all both said. I mean, that list is, is, is all the way solid. I mean, I mean, personally, like, these are some of the people who I grew up with and got me into boxing, like Floyd. Roy Jones, um, Tony. There's a lot of, I mean, Shane Mosley. There's a lot of names that's on the list that deserve to be in, in, in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, did a lot of great things inside of the sport. You know, it, it took them to bring me inside of the sport, and it was good to see that they got their just do. Definitely super official list. Duh, Walt Stringer, what you got? Yeah, I mean, I think we all pretty much mentally on the same wavelength when it comes to it. Um, I think this class, on its own may not be as deep, you know, famous name wise, but 
I think it's fitting that Roy and Bernard, not Roy and Bernard, but Roy and Tony got in the same year. You know, mm -hmm. I think yeah. he was, you know, Roy yeah, was I the agree. one dude. Roy was the one dude. And you look at Bernard from last year, Roy was the dude. Like, Roy was the guy that neutralized both of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Yeah, that's something to think about. You know yeah. how I feel about Roy, man. I think from a sheer talent perspective, man, like, he's who you would, you would create. You know, you look at the height. The arm length, the reflexes, the quickness, the athleticism, the confidence. The it was like Roy had it all. Not to say these other dudes didn't have a lot either. Andre Ward had it all. I think Klitschko had sure. it all. For Klitschko sure. had it all for a heavyweight. You know, it's just it's a ton of guys. There's a ton of guys here, and I think they all deserve it. You know. Hmm. It seemed like everybody on the same train on their thoughts on the uh, class. I mean. Floyd it's too. A, it, yeah, it's I mean Giants like like Floyd, Giants. Andre Ward, mm -hmm. uh uh Caldo, Bernard, uh Sugar Shane, Layla yep. Ali, can't forget the women. That's what I'm saying, Ali, man. Holly home too. Holly <laughs> home in there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it I think it was genius combine all three classes. It was genius. And that makes it like one of the probably the greatest classes of all time because even though it's, it's three classes but and combined into one I mean you can't beat that I mean come on man. seriously it's up there it's up there, yeah. it's up there. Yeah. I mean so, wow. like, show me one that can compete with it like I would have to actually do my research and go look at lists you know what I mean but I think if there was one it would hit me in the mind off the top you know what I mean and nothing is so hmm. hey man y'all think Floyd is a guy who people just kind of like really love to hate and it's yes. kind of like when when Floyd is gone, that's when people are gonna really say like, dude, like, dude was the, the coldest. Dude was this. Dude was the magician in the ring. Dude had everything. I think He's that could go. Dude. Can I? Let yeah. me answer that first, cause I, cause I think I, I think that can go two ways. Like just uh, my viewpoint and perspective with sports matters to my response too. Like I just think sports at a different place with you know social media and how fast things translate. But I think people, for the most part, will appreciate what he's done and take take the time to stop and look at what he's done um, once it's over. But there still may be that curve or that wave of people that's kind of like um, screw, you know, what I'm saying forget about him and what he's done and look for that next thing and try to discredit what he really did. You know what I mean? There'll always be those people in the sport talking about who he didn't fight. Right. And if you wasn't watching boxing at that time, you don't realize he wiped everybody out. So for whoever, whoever, for everybody he didn't fight, you know what I mean? So I think right. that social media will keep that spirit alive as well. And I think we'll see both. But I think the majority, I think the majority of people, my example is Kobe Bryant. You know what I mean? As soon as he passed yeah. away, they can't wait to bring up, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think that we'll see both. Um, but me personally, that he, he can't do no wrong as far as the sport of boxing. And I, he is, the, yeah. you know, he, he, he is like they love, they love you when you're a teacher. Like yeah, once, correct. Kobe, once Kobe retired, Everybody loved him all of a sudden. The media loved Correct. him. He was personable in interviews. He was holding camps for everybody. All the players, the young players and the old players in the league showed up at his camps. They loved him. And then, you know, what happened, happened. But Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's sad yeah. that a lot of times we don't really give the people their flowers when they're here. You know? We don't. We don't. It's, un it's unfortunate. And I think that Floyd is going to be somewhat a victim of that. You know, the sport will always love him and respect him. But, but he at the top, so that means, you know, he a target. You know, so inside the sport, you, you're reaching for where he, he is if you're inside the sport, and that's what you're supposed to do. If you're outside the sport, that's the only viewpoint you got of him. You know what I mean? If you haven't been following. So he kind of a victim of that, but it's going to be hard to deny what he did. You know, you, you're going to have to literally kind of be delusional to de deny what he did or just, like you said, just openly just be like, I don't like him, you know? I mean, he did choose... He did choose to wear the black hat. I mean, he he told you that when he fought um, um, De La Hoya, he chose to wear the black hat. They had him projected when he lost to the Olympics, kind of like the Sugar Ray Leonard route, you know. I mean, he's not articulate as uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, but as far as his, his drive, you know, he's a pure boxer, you know. He, he, I mean, no homo, he, you know, looks good, you know what I'm saying? For the cameras and all that stuff, they were trying to get him on that. No, no homo, but they were trying to get him on that route. You know what I'm saying? But then he chose to flip it and be the bad guy, and 
they and he chose that um that kind of like label that you know he didn't lose and people wanted him to lose and he he talked cash shit backed it up too so he chose to do that but i mean you can't deny what he did in the ring and you can't deny what he did for business too business yeah. i mean everybody not yeah. going to Everybody not going to Pomaris now. Everybody trying to promote themselves because what Floyd did. I mean, he kind of did what Sugar Ray Leonard did too, but he just elevated, you know what I'm saying? So not having no promoter, you know, being his boss and getting his own fights and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But next topic, um, I want to talk about the Edgar Belinger fight versus uh, Alexis Angulo. Um, it was Puerto Rican Independence Day or something like that. Um, yeah, I think it was, yeah. Got, Puerto Rican what Independence. What do you guys think about Edgar Belenka? He got the uh, the unanimous the, the unanimous decision. I think it was kind of like a weird fight, but I'm going to start with you, K. Will. Take yeah, I knew you was going I knew you I knew you would come to me first because <laughs> I'm definitely. So, here's my thing, man. Yeah, I'm all for um you know, the new names and new faces that's coming up in the sport. I think, and this is going to combine with both of the topics that we're going to talk about too, but I think the two topics and the two fighters that we probably will be covering today are kind of in that wave, maybe a little less Munguia, but are in that wave of I'm going to fight, 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 build a name, and then try to get a bag. I think they kind of the last couple of that generation in that wave because I watched the Berlanga. Um this past Saturday and I thought to myself you know he hasn't really he, his resume isn't really that long but he doesn't do enough to get in there with what I consider you know top fighters you know what I mean it, it wouldn't stand the test of time like unless he knocks somebody out everybody got a punch his chance but I'm just not sold on him as a as a, a fighter I got to respect him as a champion because he does have a you know you're a champion but I'm not sold on him as a fighter, and it's only a matter of time before he run into somebody that that take his that take his belt, man. Like um, he he was he wasn't really in the fight, really. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like jab, jab, soft jab, though. Like, and then he went away from it, and either he went away from it because he couldn't, or he went away from it because he don't have nothing else. He was you know trying to do something else that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So. Not, not not a not a big Berlanga fan. Not trying to discredit him, but I ain't a big Berlanga fan. Dollar, what you got? Um, so it was a couple things. Like that was a, a, a interesting fight. I'll say that off the top. Um, it was a couple things. I thought that um, Berlang. I thought Angula was tough. Like I thought he was a tough fighter. Like straight like that. And um. I, you know, Berlinger wasn't ready for him. I think ready for that that grown man strength it looked like, you know what I mean? Um, and then like, you know, I guess, you know, we gotta address the elephant in the room. Like, he, I think he tried to bite his ear. Like, no, you know, bite his <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, he tried to bite something. <laughs> and something. I mean, it was like clear as day. Uh, like, I don't like know. Like, that's a sign you losing. That's a sign yeah, you losing. Yeah, for sure. And I don't, I didn't like that at all. Like that was, uh, that was terrible. Like, um, <laughs> I, I think he had like, I like that at all. I, I like that at all. Like, I mean, you know, you might, you know, what I'm saying that was tough, and you, you the favorite too. Like, so it's like that was that was, that was a terrible look. I thought yeah, that man. you know he had like 15 first round KOs, so now you have to like kind of question his opponents because I mean the power didn't look like that to me uh, from what I seen. Like I said. And Gula was a tough dude, though. You know, he was an old school tough. veteran, but he an older fighter. So you would think the younger guy would put it on him, and he couldn't hurt him. Like, for real, for real. And one more thing I would say. I mean, you know, Berlay is okay. He needs, he's got a lot of work to do, though, yeah. I think. Um, but also, I thought the scorecards was, like, way off. I thought they was, like, they went two of the two of the judges had them t like eight rounds to two. Like I mean, I, I didn't have that the score. Like, I thought it was way closer than what they said. Um, and one guy had it this seven rounds to three. Like it was like um, it, it seemed like it was something they they was gonna give it to him regardless, unless he uh, and Gulu probably would have to knock him out or at least knock him down to even get a, a fair change. They looked like they had it fit because I didn't think he won. If he did win, he 
he won slightly because he won the earlier rounds, I would say, but it wasn't a good showing by far, especially to be a champion. I thought, and I, I think we got to question that ear biting thing. And I don't know, like, no. do you take points for that or do you like disqualify for that? Like, what's the rules on if somebody trying to bite somebody? I mean, it's like, you know, it's a thing at this point. You would say, like, yeah. I mean, people biting people. Like, what's the rules on that? Because I don't really Not know. Don't <laughs> <wear advice. laughs> right. You know, no. I mean, but. What's the rules if you do buy somebody? What's the rules if you try to buy somebody? Like, you know, what is the penalty? Like, that is like, and he's the favorite. Yeah. yeah. He was the favorite, he's the champion. Like, what's yeah, what does, yeah, yeah, you the champion. Like, yeah, man. But yeah. I don't know. What y'all think? What you think? Duh. No, no. Duh. What? What you think? Man, I think they gas him. I think New York, really, they really, really gas him. And if you look at, his, but even outside of uh, this past weekend, his previous two fights, he hasn't looked impressive. And it's my thing is this: a veteran. If you put one of these young dogs, whether it's one of the young dogs in the in the lightweight division, not even necessarily bantam, but the lightweight, super lightweight, or whatever, they go out there with the old heads and they division and they stop. Mm -hmm. Like if you that guy, you supposed to be stopping. Clean, guys clean like up the division, right? Yeah. You know. But what happened was the vet said. Oh, this young dude can't box. Like, like, like that's really what happened. He realized yes. he couldn't box. Yes. He realized he couldn't box and yes. he walked him down. Now yep. I, I agree mm -hmm. with Dollar. I think he Yes. I think Berlanga won two of the first three rounds, but it's like after that, it was like, oh, so if you can't throw these telegraphed heavy punches, these wild ones, you ain't really got much up. And it's like he went out there with the attitude of, I'm gonna Everybody say I can't box. They think I just knocked people out. I'm going to try to box. And he got him beat up. Like, to me, I thought he got beat up. Like, for that's the what I'm saying. The late round, yeah, that's what I agree. Like, yeah, bro. He got yeah, schooled. It is like, you shouldn't have got schooled like that. And you can move him down even to 160. Like, there's dudes at 160, I think, are still killing. Yeah. They're way more skilled yep. than him. Yep. There's way more skilled. Yep. So it's like. You definitely need more work. He looked yeah, heavy legs. Yeah, I had the exact the same thoughts. His legs look heavy. Thoughts. Mm -hmm. He, he looked heavy. heavy. He, he looks slow. Hand speed yeah, at all. Nah. He don't throw the right type of combinations. Everything nope. is leading to him throwing that one heavy hook that he think he's gonna land. He don't and throw the right lead. Up. He don't throw the right lead up com combinations, bro. Like right. he throwing he he throwing he throwing hooks to get a jab. You well, know what I'm saying? I, I thought you I thought you was a dog. Um, right. Angula, every time Angula got him in the, got him in the pocket, he ate hook, the uppercut. That's exactly. He was eating all night long. Like mm -hmm. I thought you was the dog. Yeah, he not. He not. Not when somebody yeah. else got them hands. Not when somebody else got them hands. He not. That's what I'm saying. Like and, he, got, and got a chin. Like he he, took, he ate all his stuff. He ate all his whatever he, he had. took punches. He, he got a chin. Yeah. They yeah. That's the thing. They, they be arm punches. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they be right. all arm punches. He don't yeah. be snapping nothing. He don't he don't be snapping nothing bro no kind of accuracy his accuracy was uh, it was bad <laughs> it was bad. wasn't a good showing it wasn't a good showing what you nah, think it wasn't a good showing what you think chewy Antoine williams what you got shout out to chewy <laughs> appreciate it appreciate it i thought i agree with you guys man i think it was a bad fight all around um i gotta give props to angulo like you know if he he did a lot of a good job pressuring him and like, that's his whole style he pressured he pressured uh, david Vendavidez too so we, we can already know he can take the punch. So if he can take David Benavidez's punches, he's going to be able to take Berlinda's punches without a problem. So I just thought that, you know, after, if he if he would have just cut out the ring a little bit more and made it a little bit more and pressed him a little bit more and kept him from going left, I think he probably could have got, got, got him up out of there. I was definitely not impressed with his his, his skill set. Uh, to you to you guys, I think he had like a lot more, like he had a lot more maturing to do as far as, as, far as boxing. I know he tried to do something different. He tried to show that he had some boxing skills, try to like Devin Haney a little bit, but it wasn't really working for him. Um, and I just think that uh, to, 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 to us, when he, he got beat up, I mean, I honestly thought that the, the scorecards were super, super wide. I thought it was like, it could have been like a 50-50 fight at the end of the day. I think Angula did a good job hitting with some heavy shots, more power shots. Um, Berlin did a good job, you know, hitting with some jabs, moving out the way, you know, pot shotting him a little bit. I think it could have went either either way, and I'm definitely I definitely think he should stay away from Benavidez. I definitely think he should stay away from pretty much everybody at 168. Everybody, 
Yeah, 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 everybody. Everybody. <laughs> like, everybody. yeah, he needs to work. He needs yes. to work oh, nice. for real. Um, work. Y'all to my uh, well, Chewy to my thoughts, but that was the same thing I'm gonna say. Um, it's like both fighters did dumb things, and I, I, I don't mean to be offending them like that. Berlinga, like. If you're the favorite and you the hot shot and you want to be that top tier and that dog and that man that you say you are, you finish him early. And just and and Gulo is 38 years old. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I, I hate to say this, that's like when Mike Tyson fought Larry Holmes and Larry Holmes still in the fight. And Larry Holmes is 38. You know what I'm saying? And he in the fight, you know what I'm saying? Didn't knock him out, didn't knock him down, no nothing. It was just going to 12 rounds. But anyway, Berlanga is just like doing something he don't do. He's not a boxer. You can't, it's too, if you're trying to box, it's too late. It is too late. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. I can see working on things and trying to uh, mess it up. I got you. But it was working because Angulo don't know how to cut off the ring. That's why it was working. So, if Angulo could cut off the ring, I think Angulo would got the better decision. You know what I'm saying? But the scorecards was suspect as hell. I had it really six, six. No, I'm sorry, not six, six. It went 10 rounds. I had it like five, five or five, four, something like that. Like it was closer than I, it was close to me to, and furthermore, it was boring. It was boring because my predictions, uh, I thought Berlanga was gonna bring the fire, and I, I know Angulo was gonna bring the fire. He pushed Benavidez back. Even though Benavidez not knocked him out in the 10th, but he still pushed him back. So I knew it was gonna be like a mano a mano type of fight, but it was a dud, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? So, but as far as like Berlanga, what I think of him, I think he's overhyped. I really, I really, th- I agree with y'all. I think he's over hype. Uh, he was in New York, and I think that's where he's from. So, yeah, I mean, I wasn't impressed. Moving on, we had another fight. Uh, Hami Mulinga, Magua, Hami Magua, 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 Jimmy Kelly. Uh, what do you guys think about that fight? I'm gonna start with you. Chew. I'm going to start with Chew. This is another fight that I wasn't really impressed with. I mean, you know, Mugia did a good job. He got the stoppage, which I expected them to get. But to, like, kind of like Berlinga's point as well, it's like he, I think, Mugia's 40, you know. So I think he did a good job of, you know, you know, cutting off the ring with, with cutting off the ring against, uh, what's his name? Jimmy Calvin. What was that? Yeah, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy Kelly. Kelly. Jimmy, Jimmy Kelly. Kelly. Jimmy Kelly. I think he did a good job cutting off the ring with Jimmy Kelly. I think he did a good job of, you know, pot shot him. I think he did a good job of, you know, securing a knockout. But at the end of the day, I, I didn't really see a lot that's going to, you know, show me what he's going to do with the, someone on, on the next level. Like, I need to see more from him from a boxing skill set. If I wanted to, you know, he's going to be able to, you know, fight somebody at 160 or 168, like, uh, like Charlo or go up to 160 and fight somebody else. Um, I'm, I saw a lot of his fights previously, and I, and I just don't, I, I didn't learn a lot, I, I, I never have, and I, I'm just waiting for him to take the next step and kind of fight someone else who has like a name, who's going to give him a, a, a little bit more of a test, um, and it's just more bigger, it's more competition. Yeah, Walt Stringer, what you got? So I thought, at least from Kelly's perspective, Kelly had some reach, he had some skill too, he had some movement. He was willing to exchange a little bit, but that wasn't his game. That wasn't supposed to be in his fight. And trying to exchange what ended, what eventually ended up getting him knocked out. Um, could have stopped it after the second one. They didn't. Kind of applaud that. You know, he gave my man a chance to actually get his belt together, get his bearings together, and go. But didn't work out. But I think he did to piggyback up, uh, piggyback off what we were just talking about with Belanga. He went into this fight and he did what he was supposed to do against a guy he was supposed to. He stopped him. Now we can argue if Kelly actually displayed, I think, 
a little more slicker skill set than what he was. Um, my name, my you got M. Yes, you got it. I don't, <laughs> don't want to keep messing his name, but yeah, M. Uh, I think he did what he was supposed to do. He was the stronger fighter. He was naturally bigger. He had the stronger base. He was sitting on the punches. And I think before the knockout came, it was an accumulative, accumulative um, amount of those body shots. He started going to the body, and it was one left hook to the body, one thud that kind of changed everything. And after that, it was like, okay, you know what? I'm about to rough him up, I'm about to go in for the kill. That's what you're supposed to do. At his age, that's what you're supposed to do against a guy that you're supposed to beat. Now, I think he, before he fight Charlo or somebody, he could, toughness-wise, he probably could match up with Charlo. I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Chris Eubanks, though. Mm -hmm. fight. Now, Eubanks would be a better better test for him. Eubanks is skilled as hell, too, and he's 32. Mm -hmm. He's 32 him. years old. So I think that'll yeah. be a, a real solid test for him. If he can stop Eubanks, because Eubanks, mm -hmm. what, got two losses, I think? Two career losses? Two. He yeah. got two. Yeah. Yeah, I think Banks would be a solid matchup for him. But as far mm -hmm. as... He would stop Golovkin. Mm. Okay, okay. He was stop Golovkin. Mm. Like at this mm. point, at this point in time, I think I don't he was stop. I don't know. Dog. Triple G strong, man. <laughs> Triple G strong, man. I'm gonna say this. Well, y'all wanna wait until after this Ooh. this fight again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Canelo yeah. might wash him. If Canelo wash him, he might step in the ring with a young fella. Let's wait on that. Let, let's wait. Let's wait. Hey. Let's wait on that. Yeah, let's yeah, wait. yeah. yeah. I, I just, I just think that he, he. He showed more of his repertoire. He had more in his bag than I think Belanga did. Belanga proved to be like a one-dimensional type of player. He looked like a, a young Giannis or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, not that so Giannis, but y'all know what Giannis was. Like, Giannis had to grow into what Giannis became, but yeah. Giannis was like a, a one-trick pony, and, you know, he started to develop. I get that. Because Belanga, that. man, like, it was, it was, to me, it was like watching no. a, watching right. a, Watching a, a, a fighter, a brawler, a puncher try to be a boxer is one of the most excruciating things you can watch in a fight. Watching yeah, somebody yeah. fight outside of their skill set is terrible. I hate yeah. seeing that. Yeah, it's bad. K. It's Will, bad. what you got? What you got for me? Uh, I, I kind of agree. I agree with um, pretty much both thing, both uh, everything that both guys said. Like, um, if if Mungia. Uh, I guess like this, man. Going into the fifth round, I had I had it personally three to one for Kelly, round wise. Right, I'm gonna be honest with you because I'm I'm just watching it as a fan. Um, but the one thing I know and the one thing I did learn from McGee in this and about boxing is you gotta have patience in boxing. And if you lost, you lost him. You lost him. Technical difference. I'm in a tough area. Oh God, Donald, what you got? He is gonna wear you down. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we we back, we back. Go ahead. Yeah, we're in the white Yeah, we can't. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was just saying that um, you know, what I did learn about Mungia um is that you know that you gotta have patience in boxing, and um, is it, if if he can last long enough with a fighter, um, he do have that toughness. You know, like so it, that's his only hope right now against like a Charlo, but. Like Walt was saying, um, he does remind you of like a Giannis. It did look like he was in there trying to figure things out or trying to figure out a way to do what he does, similar to a Giannis. Like Giannis didn't just like try to become Steph Curry or somebody. He tried to figure out how to do what he does inside of the game. And I can see that same kind of work ethic inside of the fight with Munguia. Much better showing than Berlanga, but another person who got 40 fights and we still waiting on that that we still waiting on that one you know what i mean and that's what i mean by the comparison between the two as far as like um that wave of boxers and it was a thing because everybody was trying to keep up with floyd going back to our first thing that we talked about everybody was trying to keep up with floyd and that's what they thought he was doing but he was fighting guys in the top 10 top five like so i mean it wasn't the same thing what i also learned was that jimmy kelly got a lot more than people thought he had and it surprised Mungia. And, and truth be told, I mean, if he can get a solid trainer, I don't know if he could be like wipe out a division or nothing like that, but he could surely become a gatekeeper. 
he could surely become that test for the for the champions and he could surely make a career out of the, the style that i saw his reach super long like his jab was so long you know what i mean and he done a good job at controlling the distance um he also did a good job at you know punching on the move you know what i mean but it wasn't like running it was like turning him he would punch punch turn but he was throwing combinations off the turn you know what i mean that's a skill set bro and not not mungia can't do that so it's something that if he had the right trainer you know he could take and and turn it into something i don't know if he was ready for mungia where he is right now but uh, yeah. i think that i think that that's i think that that's that's a good skill set to have and i think that he a much better fighter than people gave him credit for and then mungia thought about um i want to see mungia charlo uh some people say charlo running um, but I just I think Charlo is more so on the business aspect of things because I really don't know what he would be scared of. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he would be scared of with Mungia, like as far as in the ring, you know, like. But that's my take. Y'all know what you got. So, yeah. Um, first of all, I thought uh, Jimmy Kelly fought. What's his name? Jimmy Kelly, right? Yeah. Yeah. He I didn't even fight. know who he was. Yeah, I didn't even know yeah. who he was. Well, like I, I learned who he was yeah. Saturday. Yeah, me, me too. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> ain't none of them. I, I, uh, I, I didn't know the fight yeah. was going to happen until K. Will test me. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. bro. Uh, Hami McGill on the on, on the zone. I was like, you got to fight. Right. Let me check. Let me check it out. I didn't even know. I didn't know the, his opponent. So yeah, I did do my research. I ain't gonna lie, like. I, I know nothing about. Him. I know the man, so no, but I don't back, know nothing you know, about. Him. But yeah, I, I thought that uh, he fought a, a a real slick fight. I could tell earlier in the fight that uh, uh, Mugia was stronger than him. I could see that you know he was stronger than him. You could you know it was a, that was the main bit difference because Ashley um, Mugia didn't fight a good fight. He didn't look good at all to me. Uh, I, I agree with y'all. He's to me, I thought he was, he's in the exact same boat as Berlin. He's not that much better. It was just that he was, he's been fighting so long, he's stronger than, yeah. he was He was a lot stronger than the other guy. That's why he won. But his skill, he got hit tremendously. Like, my man doesn't have no power, but he was hitting him cleanly in the face. Anybody, any, any of the top, he, I don't think he can be in a fight with Charlo or any of the top guys. To me, for what I've seen, I thought his defense was terrible. Um, he was getting hit square in the face. Like, my man just couldn't hurt him. If, if, if my man had some thunder behind him, he would have knocked him out. He wouldn't even have, he didn't really have his guard up. Um, he got power, he's strong, but my man didn't really have a chin either. You know, like once he had him hurt, he couldn't, you know, regain. But you know, I mean, it's the punches you don't see in the first punch he didn't see. So that was really the knockout punch. I agree, they could have stopped it after the second one, but if Kelly had a chin, I mean, there's a lot of ifs, <laughs> but if he had a chin, his style is definitely the style. What he did, that's how you that's how you beat him. Basically, if you can hold up and tie him up when he get close, he, he wasn't a good boxer at all from what I've seen. I mean, this is my opinion. I think uh, the top guys can watch him at this point. I think they have, whoever his trainer is got to work on the defense for sure. Uh, his hands is down a lot. Uh, Jimmy Kelly hit him in the face like like it was nothing, and then we never even heard of him. I mean, he hit him in the face like it was nothing, like no problem. Did you? I mean, footwork was bad. I mean, he just kind of like a stiff, like he was just like a. I want if I didn't know no better, I would say he was kind of like a tomato can, a strong tomato can, like really. <laughs> I mean, that's how he fought. Tomato can. A strong tomato can, because he was strong. You could tell he was stronger <laughs> than the other guy. But boxing wise, he he did not do good by far. Like he was coming in face first. Like I mean, he was acting like an amateur. Like to me, I mean, that's for what I seen. But he's strong. He got a good left hook. Um, but he need like a lot of work. I think I don't think his trainer is doing a good job, or I don't know. But I thought uh, and Berlinger didn't do well at all. I thought he, fought, uh, he didn't do well at all. But I thought he fought better. Then Mongil. Mongil? I'm not going to really? butcher the name. Really? Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. That's how many know the difference. He said, you know, he showed I, a difference. Yeah. I appreciate that from for Berlinga, but 
Yeah, Munguia's like he really didn't show you anything. I mean, he he got the power. Like he he's coming in face first. He got forty five. Like, he was. He, he, hit, hit, a a lot. he, he got hit, 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 hit a lot. He got hit. He's anybody that has forty fight shouldn't look like that. Right. I don't care. I don't care what they. I mean, I don't care if you're an older guy. Yeah, hey, I agree whatever. with that. You got forty fights. That. You should not <laughs> fight <laughs> like that. I mean, you shouldn't be like in there with you shouldn't be in there with Jimmy Kelly if you got forty fights. You shouldn't Real be talk. in there with Jimmy. Kelly. Or Real we talk. should know who Jimmy Kelly is. You know what I'm saying? Well, 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 well wasn't Jimmy Kelly like, like, know like a throw in? <laughs> yeah. He Kelly wasn't. He said definitely look, not look that good against a guy with forty fights. And and I learned during the fight that when Jimmy Kelly was fifteen, he sparred Tyson Fury. Real talk. <laughs> I learned that too. I was watching that too. Right. Yeah. Like, All right. <laughs> Jimmy Kelly. Jimmy Kelly had the the, the skill to beat him. He did. He didn't, he he didn't did. have the power and the chin. He couldn't take he the, the skill. you know he couldn't take the punishment. He had the skill and the game plan. Walk like you said. That's the game yeah. plan to beat. That's the game Army. plan to beat him. Yeah. That's the game plan. Keep him on the but stick. He, go to the body and uh, basically just get with him angles. I mean he he's like a, almost a stiff. His foot, footwork is terrible. Like right now. Terrible. Terrible. It's bad. Like it's bad. he don't got no it's jab. Bad. I mean. You can be so easy, easily be to me. So yeah, was so, Giannis. Well, yeah, I agree with y'all. I'm not <laughs> with y'all. That, yeah. But he came a long way. They, you have to do whichever you do well and work on that. So whatever what yeah. he does well is he got a good left hook. He's compact. You know what I'm saying? He's strong. So he can come forward, but he got to get some head movement. You got to start get off the line. Like he coming in face first. Well, you know, I, I, think he, he fought him. I think he fought him like he didn't respect him. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, like, low key, he, he, he fought him like he just he just pulled up his profile and like we'll pull up a, a fighter profile like this all fighting this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble of the butt, the bubble of the butt, right? Right, yeah, but, right. but it's like he he fought him like he didn't respect him. I mean, he didn't he That's didn't true. have the power anyway. So I think, but he's what twenty five. I think you still should be, and I agree. At that age, you should be wiping guys out. Even I'm not mad at the fact that it took ten rounds. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I'm mad at the fact that the way you look on your on route to get. And this is undisputed spit, you dig? I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs>